Bringing Disney magic into your home can definitely be a lot of fun, but sometimes people can go a little overkill. So today we are going to show you our minimalist Disney home decor and give you some tips on how you can do it in your own home. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And this is Himply Ever After. Here we talk about all things Disney and we are introducing a brand new series to you guys that we are calling Dream It and Do It. Basically this whole series is about how you can bring Disney magic into your home. And today we are going to share with you some of our fun minimalistic home decor ideas and give you some tips on how you can incorporate that into your own home. So let's get started. So the first thing that we wanted to show you guys is of course these really awesome prints. We found these on Etsy um, and they were really easy to make. So basically it was a digital download of these four different prints and we just printed them off on um, Snapfish and got those uh, sent directly to our house, which was super, super easy. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I put links of everything that we talk about today in the description. So in case you're wanting to find any of these things yourself, I will have those down below. I just really love these pictures on the wall behind us because you can see just how subtle they are. They're black and white, and that's kind of the color scheme we're going for in our home is black and white, not a lot of color. <laughs> and so these obviously very easily fit the color scheme, but they're also subtle in the sense that they're not like bam Disney. Now obviously like the castle is probably the most prominent one because duh. And the frames we love, we got those from Michaels. They were obviously super easy to hang because they're all just on that picture shelf, which we got that from Amazon. And there's a link for these shelves down in the description box below. So if you wanna do this project yourself, it's super easy and honestly really inexpensive. And speaking of prints, we did get some other prints that I am seriously obsessed with. They are from a website called Mapiful, and basically what it is is you can pick a location in the world, wherever you want, and it will pull up a map of that place, and then you can totally customize it. So you can kind of zoom in or zoom out and make it kind of how you want, as, as well as you can even like put in your own like text. So we have one for our hometown, and then we have one for Walt Disney World. So it's kind of fun because it's like our two homes, I guess you could say, but it's very subtle and you wouldn't, uh, the way we have it set up, we have it as ICT, which is Wichita's like air, airline or airport, it's our, yeah, code. airport code, and then uh, WDW for Walt Disney World. So people who don't know wouldn't walk in and be like, why do you have a map of Disney on your wall? But for us and other people who are Disney lovers, they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And they also have frames and things that you can put everything in. The frames that we have our maps put in, those are from Mapiful. Super easy to hang, basically they're just magnets and you put one on the top, one on the bottom, throw a nail on the wall and you're golden. Mm -hmm. There's a few other kinds of prints that they have, but one other one that they have is you can basically upload a photo of whatever you want. And then you type in a short little like sentence or a little like paragraph of words, and then it will make your entire photo into words. It's so cool. And I kind of want one of like our wedding or something like that. I think that would be super cool, but they definitely have some really cool, unique, prints that you can get. Another super subtle thing that we have in our home is Disney coasters. We love these. We got ours from the Food and Wine Festival, but you can easily find these on Etsy, on Amazon, or you can even make your own. One of my other favorite ways to bring Disney into our home is Disney scented candles. There are a couple of different companies that we really, really enjoy. Um, the first one that we found was Magic Candle Company, and they have some really, really fun scents. Um, our favorite from them is Walt's Office, which is kind of like, it's kind of got more of that like musky 
like tobacco kind of smell to it, but it just, I don't know, it kind of gives a very warm, I like it for like fall and stuff. Um, but then the other company that we really enjoy is Wishes Candle Company, and they have all, ton, they have tons of different scents of different like uh, Disney resorts or theme park rides or lots of different things. But what's really fun about those is that they actually have a little pin, like a little trading pin in each candle. And so once you're done burning it all the way through, you'll have this little um, package that you'll pull out of the wax and there's a little pin inside, which is really, really fun. I, I just think that's kind of a fun, it's a fun little surprise, but I also love that you do get that kind of nostalgia from the different scents of these candles. One of the easiest things that almost anybody can do to add a subtle little Disney touch to their home is making a Disney photo book or just having your pictures displayed around your home. I love making these scrapbooks. Like they're some of my favorite things. I've always loved scrapbooking, but what I like about these photo books um, that I make is that I actually make them on Snapfish. So it's all digital. So you get kind of, you get to still have the creativity of laying it out very similarly to a, a scrapbook, but A, it takes a lot less time and it's, a little bit easier, I would say. You don't have to have a whole bunch of like scrapbook paper and all your stuff to make it. It's just all right there. What I really love about Snapfish is they always have discounts, like all the time. And if they don't, when you're on there, just wait a week and then they will have a discount. <laughs> so I always love, and they're really great for printing pictures too, because I know they have some deals. Um, I know I've seen it before, like if you have the app, um, you get your first hundred pictures printed for free, um, like four by sixes, things like that. And so I know they do a lot, of, a lot of promotions with printing photos as well. And so we really, really enjoy using them. I just always love we, when we go on trips, we'll get little photo frames from the resort that we're staying at or some, from somewhere that it was kind of special for that trip. And then we'll have photos. So it's kind of a really cool memorabilia, but it, was, it does also bring that little bit of that Disney magic home as well. My absolute favorite thing that we have at our home is my Epcot pins. These are super subtle still because you wouldn't really know that they were Disney unless you are a huge Epcot fan. Now, I will say this is the most expensive thing that we have out of everything that we're showing you today, but yeah, it's, we love it. If you want a fun DIY project to make your own really super, super simple pin display board, I do have a tutorial that we did back in December and I will make sure to link that um, up above in the description and it'll be at the end of this video. If you have any questions about the products that we showed you today, or if you have tips on how you bring Disney home, be sure to leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you want to learn some more fun ways to bring Disney magic into your home. If you can dream it, you can do it. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever after. after.